Well, good morning, um, everyone. Um, it's morning where I live. I'm not quite sure what time it is where you live, but welcome, welcome, welcome to the uh, Lois Banks Ministry. Um, I'm going to talk about um, people who are dying um, their hair. This message basically um, is for people who are in the church, including leaders, um, because I already understand that the world doesn't walk with God, so they're going to do everything opposite um, the word of the living God. But this message is directed uh, strictly to um, the body of Christ. And God wants me to talk on this topic again about dyeing your hair. Okay, now I've said this before that God expects us to flow in intelligence. And um, um, God is concerned and he wants me to point this out to you as a licensed nurse that on top of your scalp are pores um, that connect to hair follicles um, that connect to veins and arteries that can penetrate uh, the skull and the brain so anytime you put chemically uh, processed chemicals on your hair or perms dyes or tints um, you are destroying your own brain. You are poisoning your blood. And um, you're going to end up with health challenges that you're going to be asking God why. And then you're going to be screaming out to God to heal you. So God wants you off that crazy roller coaster that you put yourself on. Because you decided not to ask God how to put in the uh, nutrients that you you need that are missing from your body to restore hair color. Now, my hair is actually getting darker because um, I went to God and I asked him what nutrients I was missing regarding um, uh, restoring my natural hair color. And of course, you know, copper was one of the nutrients and um, some enzymes. Um, and so once I start putting those uh, natural uh, nutrients back in my body, my hair is starting to turn darker and darker and darker. So I just wanted to make sure I uh, shared that with you. And there are a lot of people that look up to people in leadership. So you might see your first lady uh, who's 60 years old with orange hair, with red hair, with uh, black hair. Um, God wants me to let you know that they are they are in error. They're destroying the temple of God. They are a bad representation of how to take care um, of the body. And you are not supposed to be looking at people like that. You are supposed to keep your eyes on God. And when you have an issue that comes up that you're concerned about, please don't destroy the temple of God trying to look like somebody else and trying to hide the gray or trying to hide whatever. Um, go to God, ask him what your body is depleted in. Put those nutrients back in your body and do it the right way where you're not destroying the temple of God and um, you're being a blessing to your own health and you're protecting yourself from Alzheimer, dementia, and brain diseases um, in the future. So what people are doing, because they're so freaking off balance, uh, they're doing stuff to their hair, and then they're quoting scriptures, by the stress of Jesus, I'm healed and made whole, or I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. And they keep on putting the chemicals, the poisons um, in their hair, and they're asking God in prayer, God, heal my body, bless my body. You're on a vicious circle. Um, you're on a vicious roller coaster. And what you're doing makes absolutely no sense. And it's not even the intelligence of God at this point. 
So God wants me to point out to you that you're supposed to do everything in prayer where you talk to God first before you do anything to your body. Talk to God. Talk to him and find out what you need to put in your body to restore your natural um, hair color. Um, I shared this message before. I don't think I've done it on camera. If so, it's been a while. So whenever God puts it in my heart to go back and revisit this topic um, again, I do. So I'm going to show you a picture um, of a person's scalp, skull, and brain. I want you to take a good look at this for a minute. Okay. See where your hair is on top of your head? You got pores on top of your head. And whatever it is you putting on your head goes down into your, your brain. As far as chemicals and stuff are concerned. So you, you, you don't want that. You don't want tint, dyes, hair color. You don't want any of that. That's not intelligence. intelligence and, and you're harming your own body. You're, you're, you're destroying your own uh, health. And you got to stop looking at people in the pulpit, pulpit as if they have some common sense and some wisdom because they don't often when they're doing worldly things and they're not and they should know better they should be going to god in prayer asking god what the body is missing to restore hair color you know god got an answer for everything so you want to always go the natural route and find out what your body is missing and then add that to protect your health so uh this is lois banks coming to you from the lois banks ministry um, God loves you. That's why he sends these, uh, messages to you, uh, to bring balance, to, um, help you understand. Um, I know a lot of people are visual learners. I'm a visual learner as well. Um, people learn better when you show them images or pictures. Um, so that's why I ended up, uh, showing you a picture, um, of a scalp skull and brain and hair on top of the head so you can understand what you are doing uh to your body yes i mean you can you you'll look refreshed you look younger you look beautiful uh with all these uh chemicals and dyes and tints uh in your hair and you will be destroying your health at the same time that don't make any sense y'all know that don't make no sense you, you need to go to God in prayer and find out what your body is missing so that you can uh, restore your natural hair color. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. Always, always stick with the Lord. Never do anything that the world does. Anything that the world does that's outside of the word of God will destroy you. Uh, make some um, healthy choices. God bless you.